Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of cancer. Somebody has been abusing their power in some way to watch or monitor a person. What's very interesting is this deck over here to the side at the bottom of it right now is the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And look at what's peeking out. Divorce. What's that? Divorce and the Tower. So there has been an ending, a separation, a breakup. This could be amongst friends, family, lovers, whatever. But somebody found the strength to block somebody out for good. The Ten of Cups is here, the King of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Page of Wands, Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody is going towards the Hierophant. A higher... Um, for one, like a higher spiritual ranking. Wait a minute, because I'm hearing so much stuff. Somebody's spiritual rank is going like someone's consciousness is shifting at a very rapid rate. Ten of Cups with the King of Swords. This somebody is fair and just. We have a Libra new moon tomorrow, four of wands. Somebody is celebrating happiness, wish fulfillment. The page of wands is like, if you know this person, this is being in a creative energy, like trying different things. Going on a journey, six of swords, the Hierophant. It's a spiritual journey. And someone has gone through a lot ten of wands the temperance to have an ace of pentacles queen of swords that's a pair queen and king of swords i'm getting so much positive energy this is the energy of something being eclipsed out we're in eclipse season it's like there's nothing but rewards and recognition and at the bottom of this other deck that i have set into the side is the four of wands Strength. There's a very pow strong, powerful connection that's coming in. And there's also another strong hold from a connection that is completely over. And now when I say connection, this could be, like I said, it could be a relationship you have with a friend, family member. Wow, the world. And the five of wands. No more conflict. And if somebody has been working to bring conflict, it's over. Somebody is stressed out because they can't do this type of work. They can't manipulate you. They can't do spell work. They can't. They can't create drama in your life. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you have a passion in the beginning here. The divine stepped in. The tower. Eclipse. It's being eclipsed out. So somebody who has been watching you. Communicating with you, telepathically communicating with you, for sure. They can't do it anymore. They've been eclipsed out of your energy because it's time for you to perhaps like start a new journey where there's going to be um, telepathy, collaboration, or whatever with another person. Look, King of Cups, I told you. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. Somebody here has been... Sending some, something to the mind to control you. We have a lot of Scorpio energy out here. Pluto just went direct. The Hermit is here. Something has been hidden. Somebody has been trying to keep you stuck, isolated, and unable to move into your own like will of fortune by sending some kind of projection to you. This is someone who definitely has a strong telepathic communicate like bond with you and when they want to sabotage something they project because you know projection is definitely a trait of somebody who is very narcissistic look split personality let me find out what's going on with this with this 
other deck here. Yeah, this has a lot of mind control. If somebody has been using like divination spying, that's ending too. Like there, there's a the 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 knife to the sword is a cord has been cut. Yeah, caught in the act. Somebody has been caught up doing something that they had no business doing. Bad energy. Low vibrational person. This person carries a very dark, heavy type of energy because they're stuck in fear and anger. This person has been caught, I feel, by your spiritual team, tampering with your energy. They've been caught for doing this. This could be a couple. Look, fourth house, this could be a family member. Wow. One, sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots. One's housing and comfort. Whoa. Somebody could have gotten caught doing something in someone's home. Doing something that they had no business doing. Heavy emphasis, though, on communication and surveillance is what I'm picking up here. And this King of Cups here is always trying to telepathically communicate, I feel, with the Divine Feminine energy. They're projecting a lot of energy, but there's something that I'm intuitively picking up, though, about this communication and how someone has been, I'm, I just almost heard, monitor, almost said, monitoring, I did hear, monitoring a person. It's some, some kind of access has been, yeah, the truth has been, the truth has been or will be revealed. Somebody has been keeping secrets. It's going to come out. What is this? It could just be that somebody has been secretly spying on somebody, but this is more serious. Yeah, you're walking away or you walked away from this toxic connection. Somebody wants control, so they're watching or monitoring a person. I really am getting like this is like some kind of surveillance. This may be why you're feeling trapped. It's something you're hidden. A partner. This has to do with a partner. You have 4th house, 7th house, 12th house. Somebody has been hiding the fact that they, they're trying to telepathically connect with you or do something with like your subconscious mind or doing something when you're unconscious, maybe sleep. And then the 7th house is usually where you can find a lot about partnerships and marriage. This could be somebody that you were married to or saw yourself becoming married to. But this is a one-sided situation with somebody who is a moocher that's projecting energy, projecting things onto another person because they're very irresponsible. This person doesn't show emotion. You can't read this person. They always have a poker face. They're spreading lies or lies are being spread about this person. Yeah, and divination spying. This person is watching terror or doing some kind of divination spying. To try and catch you in the act of doing something so that they can. I feel like this is somebody who wants to slander your name, assassinate your character. Like somebody wants to say that you're doing something that you may or may not be doing. But it's so that they can sabotage you in some way. 
Somebody wants to say that you're irresponsible. Okay, I got it. Somebody wants to say that you're irresponsible. This could be a family member. They want to say that you're irresponsible, that, you know, you're in toxic connections, that, you know, you deal with people who don't care about you or you you only deal with people for money. Like, somebody is painting, creating a whole narrative because they can't control you and you walked away. That's what this is. This is a, a narcissist. And they they're experiencing this the tower moment is coming and they are spiritually bullying you because they can't get your your information. This is somebody you walked away from. Yeah. They're they're furious, they're angry. Now they're trying to catch you doing something. And this is a person who is obsessive. Lots of Scorpio energy. And look at this temperance in the back. They, this person does things in the background. They stay hidden. Yeah, this is a narcissist. They're projecting things onto you. And because you walked away, now they're trying to punish you. I feel like this person really wants to spread lies and say that you're, you're toxic. You're the reason why the connection was toxic. You're irresponsible. Um... You 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 make really bad choices in love. And this is somebody that makes you feel trapped. You know that there is nothing you can do. The only thing that you can do with this kind of person is walk away. Because for them, whatever they think or say is to them, it, it's it's truth, it's fact. But it's not. It's them being in a very low vibing energy. This is someone in your family. Okay? And they're attacking you and your relationships. This person feels like you need to apologize to them. And they are possibly like secretly participating in some kind of magic to trap you. But what has happened is because you withdrawn from this person and cut the cord. They're experiencing a loss of control and they can't see you. So let me tell you something about um, people who are very manipulative, toxic, controlling, narcissistic. You give them a lot of power when you give them information. When they know what you're doing next, that's how they go in for the kill to sabotage it. When they can't get any information, it makes it harder for them to control you and to sabotage you. They need to know everything about you to control you. This is somebody you walked away from. Eight of Cups. And they are pissed about it. Like, how dare you? Yeah, this cycle is over. <laughs> you're going out into the world to live your life. And you're turning your back on this conflict and this drama with this person. Good for you. Yeah, the four of pentacles in the reverse. You're not stuck, held, or bound by this person. They wanted you to be held, stuck, stagnant, bound, four of cups, disappointed. And they wanted you to miss an opportunity. That didn't happen. You continue to invest in yourself and your future. Because you turned your back on this jealous, envious, competitive person. You just close the cycle out. You're, you're like, no, I'm not going to go around around with you. This is when people say just leave a person to their own devices, not a wands. This person now, this wounded warrior, they're stuck to, to deal with themselves. Yep, three of swords and they're heartbroken. Because you've blocked them. Or cut them off. Yep. Nine of swords. All this conflict, this chaos, this drama, them assassinating your character and trying to bring you this this drama. Now that now they're in an ongoing battle of having a whole mental breakdown because they're stuck in fear and anxiety. And they're heartbroken. This is somebody um a like a malignant narcissist. This person is, it's like parasitic. They, they feed off of you. When you cut them off, they can't survive. So they go into a whole rage. 
See, this is something you kick them out your energy. Six of Wands, yeah. You're working on victory and success. And you're willing to take action. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, to protect yourself and your foundation, Four of Wands. You're, you're now calling on your own spiritual team or whatever to protect you. And look how this person is like holding on to her head because you're tired of this person playing these games to try to manipulate you. So to protect your own foundation, and look here, the, the queen and king of swords, this person is definitely coming against you because of a relationship. So this person could be spreading lies about you and your partnerships and relationships because they don't approve of it. Knight of Swords. Yeah, th this person wants to pick a fight with you. They're ready to rumble because, look, the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. You have something that either challenges societal norms, but it's going towards something long term. The King and the Queen of Swords, you and this person both are protected. You, you and this person celebrating it's being protected. And this person is mad because they they can't get an inside scoop or look at what's going on. Five of Cups. <laughs> and they've done everything towards you. So three cups have knocked down. So they could have caused a separation or a blockage or a delay. But the relationship or the connection, the partnership is still there. So it's like this person is trying to sabotage a relationship or a business deal or whatever. You and somebody are catching on to it. And you're choosing now to make sure that it doesn't happen again. This is just somebody you're like, no, don't don't tell this, don't tell this person your business. Keep your business to yourself because anytime they see you celebrating, they go into attack mode. Your light really aggravates the demon within this person. Page of Wands. Yeah, they're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> they're cooking up something now I'm sure on how to to move away from this situation and let me tell a narcissist typically they will move away from you and they will go towards somebody else to do the same thing they're they're on to their next victim they're like this is a predator they're looking for their next source of supply page of source because they can't see you You won't see this person or talk to them or whatever. So they're going to go and love bomb somebody else now. <laughs> yep. Seven of swords in the reverse. You've taken the mask off this person. But this car here says caught in the act. They've been caught being low vibrational. You see them for who they truly are. You see how they were working against you and your business, your partnerships or whatever. Now, now, hangman, it's, it's you had an epiphany about the situation, but I guarantee you this person now, for me, the hangman, it's not in the reverse, but if it was a hangman in the reverse, it's like this this person now, they're going to play victim. That's what the, this person is mad because you cut a cord and stop letting them dictate and control you and your energy has been cut off. Now they're playing victim. They're spreading lies about you, creating a false narrative <laughs> because you're moving forward. Eight of Wands. Because you're going towards, yeah, more healing. Because you're doing your shadow work, you're healing. They're trying to attack you. Because they won't do that for themselves. The Wheel of Fortune. So this person knew the Wheel of Fortune was here. Nine of Cups in the reverse. And the Devil is in the reverse. The Three of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Cups and the Devil. Both in the reverse. Hmm. With the Nine of Cups in the reverse, like this is somebody who they can't find any type of satisfaction in anything. They also could be overindulging in food, drugs, alcohol, whatever. But they they can't find happiness in anything. 
And then the three of wands is in the reverse. They can't manifest. I'm telling you, this is a malignant narcissist. Like, this person feeds off of your energy. So if they can't watch you, spy you, control you, they, they don't really... What, do, what else can they do? Two of swords in the sun. They did not want you to see happiness. They don't want you to have peace. Because most likely, these are the... It's a low vibing energy. If you're a high vibrational person, you're not going to deal with this individual. So whatever brings you peace, happiness, and joy and allows you to be enlightened, they want to strip that away from you. <laughs> yeah. This person doesn't like the fact that you make decisions because they are stuck. The fool. In the reverse, this person, f f they're foolish. But they they can't take a leap of faith. They're they're paralyzed by fear. They don't want anybody to see who they are. This is somebody who is faking the emperor in the reverse. They're very immature and they have a huge ego. In this car, actually, you see this as a woman. This could be a super masculine, independent woman. Like this this person's independence or whatever is is a trauma response. This this could be a woman. I'm picking up a woman. Actually. But they're in a very masculine energy. So if you're in your divine feminine energy, they can't stand it. They don't like the fact that you're receiving good things. Because they're them being a, a dictator and a controller and a narcissist is not allowing them to manifest what they want. Look, nine of pentacles. You're just enjoying your life. This person hates to see you at peace. So here's the death card in the reverse. More Scorpio energy. This person, like I said, death is also like death, transformation, rebirth. Death in the reverse, like this person, they're not having a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. They're not having a new beginning for some of you because of them trying to manipulate you and block an offer or even going so far as to do magic on you to affect your security, your stability. Because you stood up to yourself. The King of Wands, you stood up to yourself and you walked away from this person. You freed yourself and isolated you because you knew this person was stabbing you in the back. All I can say is good for you. Whoever you are, you did the right thing. This person can't be trusted at all. They're, this is a very deceitful person. And they try to hide it. You stood up for yourself, King of Wands. You knew this person was just constantly stabbing you in the back. So you have to go within and heal or, and isolate yourself. Or keep, this could be a man or a woman. You could be a man or woman watching, but you, I feel like whoever you are, you will know who this person is by the, the, the characteristics that I'm mentioning. You're dealing with a, a real narcissist. And again, if they can't manipulate you, and they can't have control. They can't manifest certain things. And you have the uh, narcissist. Like they're the type of people. They need to. They need you to. March according to the beat of their drum. For them to have the show that they want. When you march to the beat of your own drum. It throws off their show. Their mask comes off. When you don't do what they want. Then all of their lies are revealed. This is the kind of person, they, they keep lying, saying that you're such a terrible person. But the proof is, is there that you're not. And without you being around, the truth is coming out about them and their life. That they're low vibrational. They're being caught up for who they truly are. And they like to steal your energy and make you feel trapped so that they can control you.
yeah this is somebody that's very codependent with rescuer like they try to come in and act like they're they're saving the day with you and then you have servant this person knows that you're very giving but this is someone who will use a lack of resources servant and beggar to depend on other people because of a lack of money resources lack of um a support system they think that they can just use and abuse other people this person doesn't have support though because of their own bad karma and because they don't know how to be honest about who they truly are they don't want people to find out who they really are So this could be somebody they, they like to depend on other people, but they especially depend on you because they see you as like a servant to them. They feel like you're supposed to save them. It's your energy. They like your energy. Detective, what I say? What I say about their surveillance? They can't watch you. Gossip. They can't watch you and say a bunch of stuff to manipulate you this is somebody that is there's blocked communication they are pissed about this because this lying and this because when they can't see you they make up lies about what you're doing they lie about who you are what you're doing where you are what like <laughs> they this person just lies Heavy Scorpio energy. This this is a spiritual detective. They're abusing divination and everything else. But they'll create these situations and then come in and try to act like they're going to save you, rescue you, help you. This person will smile in your face, come around and help and everything else. And then they'll turn around and stab you in the back. Because it's all about control and what they can get. This person is, is destructive. And this is someone that could be a companion. A really close friend. Lover. They're destructive though. Because they're, they're narcissistic. They don't really care about anybody. They only care about what they can get. That's a narcissist for you. Yeah, magical child. I feel like this you. You see the potential in all people, but you can't. You can't try to see the good in. I mean, you should try to see the good in every person. But a narcissist is only going to change when they decide to change. When they decide to liberate and free themselves from that toxic pattern of behavior, meaning they have to actually heal. This person, look. Prostitute, slave, queen, mystic, and artist. This person only cares about material security and stability. And so they've decided to mistreat, misuse, and abuse someone who is in this queen energy. They want to trap some a high vibrational person, a very creative with artist, mystic, and queen. That's like a divine feminine energy. You're creative, you're you're fertile, um, abundant. It says radiates the regal feminine. Y your energy, you can protect people. Okay, mystic here, you have an intimate union with the divine. This person, everything about you, they would love to be there, but they can't. Because of this darkness within them. And for some of you too, this person is extremely upset because you you have the love of this king energy. Look, king and queen is out here. You've manifested a partnership. So this person now is trying to misuse and abuse spiritual, psychic gifts, any type of information that they have about you. They're lying on you and they're also in the background trying to cause chaos conflict and everything else in your connection 
this love connection that you have. Because you have a person in your life that most likely they have they're they're a high vibing person like you. Like I said, this person wants to isolate you. They don't want you to be around a high vibrational person. Yeah, look, look at that Samaritan and priest. You have some kind of a, a person around you now that's a, a protector. Priest in here is God. Somebody that's somebody who listens to God. Look, prince. God, prince, and priest are here, and Samaritan, queen and king, and mentor. So you manifested, for some of you, I have to be honest, with orphan child here, it's like you have a ex-partner, friend, lover, this could be a parent with orphan being here, who made you feel very rejected and abandoned because they are narcissistic. Now that you've manifested true love with within friendships, partnerships, business, or whatever, this person is constantly trying to... <laughs> child, look at this. Engineer and vampire. They're using all of their narcissistic tactics and strategies to strip you away from people who will protect you from them. That's what all this person is doing. Because as you get around people, high vibing people, you're seeking the truth. This person doesn't want you to see the truth about people or the world because it will show you that who you once thought was protecting you was actually working against you with this warrior here, Avenger and Virgin. This person has a God complex and they're an eternal child. They can't grow up. It says trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. This person should have been protecting you. But instead, they've been raging war on you. Like waging war on you constantly. And they should be protecting you you're completely innocent and that's why they keep attacking you this is a spiritual bully they know that you're a pure hearted person they want to drain you energetically but they are attacking you and they hate the fact that you have some type of love here or people around you who support you you could even have a business this person they do not like they don't want you to have support they really want to create this narrative that you're a bad person and that you don't deserve anything and they do this when you when you stop dealing with them. It's like as long as they have control and they have information, intel, and insight into what you're doing, all is okay. The minute you cut the cord with this person, they're like, oh, wait a minute. Now they become addicted. Look, to bullying you. Scribing. Lying, creating false reports, you know, like if you're on a, a platform, they're reporting your channel, they're in your comment section lying. This person, they have no kind of integrity. They, this is a habitual liar. They have no integrity. And they bully people because of the truth coming out about them. Look, caught up. Caught in the act and caught up. This person has been caught doing something highly unethical possibly even illegal stubborn this is a very stubborn person who has been caught up they keep hiding the truth about who they are yeah this person's skeletons yeah this is a liar <laughs> this part this liar is getting completely caught up for all the things that they've been doing behind the scenes. This person needs a therapist. They they truly are a habitual liar and they don't understand it. It says your vision is getting clearer. You're, you're starting to see who this person truly is. 
because you're going through your own transformation where you're being guided. You see the truth. That's why they're so upset. Show more gratitude. This person is always jumping to conclusions. And they all, they could look. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This person feels like you need to show them more gratitude. This is the kind of... I'm telling you, this is somebody who is trying to put you in this energy like you owe them. It's giving very much like a parent. Like you owe them. They want you in this subservient like energy that card even came out the serving like you serve them you owe them you need to be more thankful for them but this person is sucking the life out of you and destroying your life and look at this new line of study spell work evil eye you're fired this person is has found out something about spell work or sending the evil eye they do this to to get you fired so that people or situations you will lose out on opportunities so that they can maintain control. This is what they do. Yeah. And they definitely do not want you in a relationship. So they just spread rumors about you. But this is being purified and cleansed out of your energy. You're a gift. And you have gifts coming in. Hopefully this Christmas season will be good for you. But purify and cleanse your energy. Because this person is a, a very deceitful. They're a liar. And that's the reason why their cash flow is in the reverse. And you're you're leveling up. This person is only creating blockages for themselves because they're stuck in the past. And look at this toxic family. This is a toxic family member of yours. <laughs> you can laugh a bit though. Because whatever they thought they were gonna do to celebrate or have people not celebrate with you, it's not gonna happen. Like this isn't gonna work for this person. Because you have a lot of people who are actually talking good stuff about you. There's evidence that you are exactly who you know you are. <laughs> so you shouldn't be bothered by this nosy person who is all up in your business asking a bunch of questions. They want to know every single detail about you. This person wants to know details too for spell work. Wow. Narcissist. Distorted feminine. Thank you. <laughs> I told you, I said this is a woman. This is a female narcissist who was stuck in a mental prison. Nosy. They want to know all your business. And this is, a, this is a stalker. This person is stalking you. They are obsessed with how you know information. How do you receive downloads? How do you get information? Karma. It says re revenge will never solve anything. Karma will hit. Someone is getting karma for the pain that they caused receiving a dose of their own medicine. And they're stressed out about it. This is a hater. This person hates your confidence. So they want to knock you down. <laughs> they feel like you're on a high horse and you need to sit down. So they're betraying you. And they talk really, really bad about you. And anything that you have going on. This person is weird, strange, twisted, and just all of that. Somebody here has evidence that somebody is a gold digger. And they're a false twin flame. This person is, maybe they go out acting like they're they're always balling. Like they have a lot of very luxurious like lifestyle. But this person doesn't show the fact that they only want to be with people for what they have. Yeah, sabotage. Somebody, it's a gold digger out here for sure. Always partying and playing games. No money, no talk. So somebody out here really wants to take someone's money. They're a gold digger. But they've met their match with this um, this hidden agenda to try and take advantage of someone. This could be a same-sex situation for someone with this rainbow here. More than friends. Man, somebody out here is just like, they're, they're willing to do anything for money. 
I mean, like, they could be by like, whatever. This is somebody that just, whatever it takes to get what another person has because of their jealousy and envy, they'll do it. And look at this. It says here, once the one that you're with. Copying your style. This is a copycat. This person knows that you're gorgeous. You could be um, with this more than friends here. You could have somebody in your life. And more, maybe you're more than friends, but you're keeping it to yourself. It's because you, you know that this jealous, envious person is in your energy or the energy of this person that you're connected to. Again, when they have information, they want to dictate and control the situation and do everything to, to ruin it. It's a friend or family member. I wouldn't trust this person. This is like somebody's mom, sister, best friend. They don't realize that this, this person is looking into their life and trying to find out everything about, look, your closest friends hold grudges against you so that they can sabotage it. Whoever you are, your intuition, you, you should know. You have a very distorted, feminine, like toxic, narcissistic person here that's bullying you. They don't want to see you in a relationship. They don't want you to have scorn. It's a lover. An old fling of your current or recent ex-partner still feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal. Secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. It says tap into your intuition. You already know who this person is. Maybe you need to do an egg clean. Somebody is envious of your career. You could be receiving a whole lot of um, spam phone calls. This person could be using some type of like technology or an app to try to call you from different phone numbers or to hack into your devices because they're, they're a copycat. They want to be just like you. They want to find out who you are or what you have going on. The amethyst is here. Yeah. This person is trying to like send you some kind of psychic attack. So somebody here is utilizing a lot of te technology, surveillance. They could have hired a, a, a private detective or something like that. It's because a cord has been cut and they can't. I'm here to say I, I can't feel them anymore. They can't feel a connection to someone. So it has, it's driving this person mad. They're having a lot of insomnia, nightmares. They're constantly thinking, too, about someone sleeping with another person, doing re root work, look, and secretly keeping tabs on you. Some of you guys need to work with the amethyst or smoky quartz. The smoky quartz is going to help to provide a cloak of invisibility. And the amethyst is, of course, just for, you know, psychic protection. You may want to put an amethyst beside your bed at night to help you with insomnia or nightmares. But you have here a, a feminine hater. This is someone's ex. With Mars retrograde, this person is in some type of rage right now. Like, they are very angry. This is like the third reading I've done about this extremely angry ex. Bitter, jealous, angry, trying to bully people sending a lot of dark energy your way or this but at the beginning i heard rewind whatever they're sending out is going back to them they don't like the fact that you are your true authentic self for some i don't know this friends family lover whoever it is but it's it's for sure for a lot of people this it's a very masculine woman a woman who's in a masculine energy because they can't create or manifest. It's, it's like this person is being bound where they can't create or manifest the way that they used to because of their karma. The way they've been trying to copy off of another person and spread lies and spiritually attack somebody, they're bound. They, they're they bound to some type of situation that they never wanted to happen. This person's money and everything else They've possibly gotten fired from a job. They can't find employment. If, if they had a business, their business is like everything in their life is declining. This person hurt themselves trying to hurt you. Yep. Because your blockages and obstacles, this is in the reverse. They're being removed. 
But this person, look, manifests is in the reverse. They can't manifest because of the black magic they did. Wow. The grass was greener because it was fake. This person is delusional. They felt like a relationship was meant to be, but it's not. Meant to be is in the reverse. But they're still having romantic thoughts about a person that they, they lost. And so now because they can't watch a person, they can't spy on somebody to copy off of them to try to get someone to come back. They're upset. Yeah, access denied. I'm telling you, somebody was blocked and they are pissed because they've been either blocked on social media or something, or they've been blocked energy. I feel like somebody's just been blocked all around and they are going completely insane about this. 